So, I'd like to interject my whole opinion on the whole Reddit API. First off, if you don't know what that means, uh, don't feel bad, I didn't either. Uh, because I'm almost 32, and that apparently makes me old. It stands for Application Programming Interface, and there were some changes that were being made to it that a lot of people are not fans of, because it essentially restricts certain uh, file sharing content, including NSFW, or not safe for work, content. Now, while I'm not exactly for or against the so-called spicy content, because to each their own, everybody's got to make a living under capitalism, uh, I do see how these restrictions are going to hurt certain individuals. And it's also going to hurt a lot of subreddits, and yeah. Um, so I know that a couple of trans subreddits that I follow are either going away or being threatened, um, either with termination, etc. Uh, but now I'm hearing about certain mods and administrators that are being threatened with account termination, as well as regular Redditors who have been boycotting the recent changes. Now, while this, of course, is a tremendous authoritarian and fascistic power move by the higher-ups at Reddit, I'd also like to point out, once again, how boycotts are ineffective at achieving any meaningful change. We've seen it numerous times on social media like Facebook, YouTube, and the ongoing bullcrap with Twitter. Boycotting something changes nothing, because at the end of the day, the executives of these major tech companies, or really any executive of any major capitalistic company, they don't give a damn about your opinion, or about you. In fact, they know that these changes will probably be widely unpopular, but yet they will continue to drive these changes anyway because they know there's not a damn thing you can do about it, and you're either going to leave the platform or you won't. And either way, they are still going to come out on top because, well, they've essentially made their money. Um, they've, you know... You know, at the end of the day, even if they completely do ruin the site, they really do. They have made their money, and they really don't care. And the only people that it's truly going to hurt are the people at the bottom, which, you know, maybe be some middle and lower tier managers, but typically will be end up being um, a lot more of the lower tier employees, the wage workers, the interns, and essentially the people that found communities to call home friends that they've made, uh, and for some, a safe space that has allowed them to explore and accept a part of them that they never knew knew about themselves or were repressing, i.e. LGBT people, particularly in the trans community. But none of it matters, because in the end, capitalism and the bourgeoisie are going to do what they do best, and that is rule by limited or unrestricted decree and impunity. Essentially, their rules are law, it's policy, and there really is nothing that you can do about it. Well, there is something that you can do about it, but something that Marxists and anarchists, uh, for as annoying and naive as they are, have been trying to tell you for all this time, but you don't want to listen to it. The shift in the internet, public forums, and just the way we access information has been so twisted and restricted in the favor of the bourgeoisie that it is no longer truly public anymore. That should be perfectly obvious by the way that they are trying to privatize and subsidize certain aspects of it, from special privileges on social media uh, that you used to be able to access for free, to the news and information that you used to also be able to access. The internet was initially created to share knowledge and uh, with that with the wider world, uh, the general public, and because they now know that how to privatize and make money off of it, that's what they're now doing. And this results in the ruining of the internet for everyone as we slowly get pushed into subscription-based services, paywalls, and software and programming changes that we simply just do not approve of. But you either have three options. One, 
either just accept accept it and move on and learn to live with it, which most of us will typically tend to do. Uh, two, essentially delete your accounts and just, again, move on from it. Or three, continuously move from site to site, being bamboozled time and time again with the promise of, oh, we're not like X site, we're not like them, we're going to be different. And then, you know, to, and then the cycle begins again, because that's all that ever truly happens. Reddit essentially said the same thing all those years ago, that, oh, we're going to be different from all those other sites. We're going to be a safe space for everybody. We're going to, you know, offer this uh, safer and less toxic community than that of the cesspits of Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. But that's the problem. Just like, uh, just like those companies, like everything else, that honeymoon phase of being for everyone or a fun, safe social space for all, that comes to an end because it doesn't turn a profit for them. And the way I look at it, maybe these changes are for the best because it kills Reddit before it actually or eventually becomes just like all the others. It sucks because so many people have come together to call it home. But there is an alternative but one that takes a grand social movement of the people to overthrow the system that perpetuates these problems. The problem is, nobody is going to do that. And so this vicious cycle of new social media fad who's different from the others to, oh my god, what the fuck are they doing, pipeline, is going to continue. Just look at Blue Sky, for fuck's sake. Look at Tribal, look at Mastodon. They're all the same. They're offering the same bullshit like oh we're going to be different from facebook we're going to be different from twitter like that's basically what mastodon and tribal are kind of supposed to be they're supposed to be like like facebook but not like we're supposed to be like facebook but we're not going to have all the problems that facebook has blue sky is like we're like the new twitter but we're not run by some megalomaniac you know narcissist cisgender uh who, you know, wants to, you know, who's on a power trip, They're like, we're not going to be like them, we're going to, you know, be a safe social space for everybody, and everybody will be, you know, will, you know, be, you know, will be accepted for who they are, and blah, 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 we're totally not going to, you know, do, you know, essentially end up ruining the site later down the line, that's what they all said, they are all the same. They're all promising that they'll be different, but we all know that just in a few years, probably in a decade or so, they will just become the same vile cesspits of social and right-wing fascists and run by a company of rich executives who abandoned that original premise. I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. Until next time.